Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, we're going to do more of a series of these cat and mouse videos as us being the cat to give you folks an idea of what's it like on the other side of that radar detector that is in the patrol vehicle trying to get you and your speed. So what we've done is I've created a, went out and did a lot of different types of uh, setups on traps that, you know, as a driver we all see. And uh, it's going to be really interesting uh, what, you, what we find here. You're going to get the whole picture as to what's going on on the radar detector side, but now you're going to see what it's like on the other side of the radar gun or laser gun. And then you're going to get a better picture overall of what's actually going in these different scenarios. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe. Uh, we really appreciate that. We'll have more of this unique content out there. I don't think you're going to find it anywhere else on the internet. Uh, you can join us on Facebook. You can find us on Facebook, uh, Radar Busters Online. Uh, Twitter as well, Radar Busters. And we'd love to engage with you if you have any questions or if you'd like to see any additional tests. Uh, we'd be happy to do them. We're already fielding some questions. One was on Facebook for... Uh, uh, how laser works through the windshield doesn't really affect the range. So we have one of those results as well, a uh, series of videos. So you'll be able to see for yourself. Okay, guys, let's get to it and let's have some fun. Okay, we uh, often get asked, can uh, laser police LIDAR work through glass like a windshield? And we're going to show you that it can. And uh, we're using a Dragon Eye Compact. And uh, we're going to also turn on our constant on radar source. So you'll be able to see a speed through the, uh, what, what it reports by the radar gun. And then we'll uh, see what we get with our speed and distance with the laser gun. So we'll compare the two and then it'll show you the relative accuracy of both actually. And uh, that in fact you can get uh, speed with a LIDAR gun behind the windshield or behind glass. And uh, again, we're in the same position. We're targeting rear, uh, ve rear vehicles here from the back. We're in a hidden position with a shrub behind us. And we're off on the shoulder here on an on, an on ramp. And we'll just be targeting vehicles from the rear. And you're gonna see how easy it is to get people if you really wanna work hard on it. And it really isn't. Actually, when I say work hard on it, just set yourself up and put yourself in this position. So, here you go. I'm gonna turn on constant on radar. And then I'm going to call out the speeds, and I'll tell you what vehicle I'm targeting. Here we go. Okay, we got some cars coming. Let's uh, put it on. Go for that white truck. 79 at 624. Seventy nine at two thousand eighteen feet. There you go. Let me see if I can get him before he hits that yellow sign. Seventy two at two thousand eighteen. You can see that at twenty eight twenty six. And he may be getting off, but there you go. 